some people say that this was an American food evolution. I really prefer to, to think of it as a revolution because we were really making a radical and dramatic departure from what had happened. This new generation of chefs in America, some like Wolfgang Puck who came from Europe, Others were trained at the CIA, like Larry Forgione or Dean Fearing or, or Jasper White, uh, and some completely representative of the region they were born in, like Paul Prudhomme, uh, basically looked to Europe and said, why, why are these folks the masters of the culinary universe? We have great products, we have great tradition, we have great history, we have all these ethnic influences, and we can do it. It was a really exciting time. Of course, we uh, actually opened the American Bounty in 1982. And that was really, um, you know, quite a statement for the school to make. Uh, we had one restaurant uh, at the time, that was the Escoffier restaurant. And so to lay down that marker and to say, now we're gonna open uh, an American restaurant, when people were still debating the fact as to whether it was such a thing as American cuisine. Our students and the industry are focused uh, very much on uh, organics, uh, sustainability, and I would trace the origins of that, that interest and that whole movement back to this American cuisine revolution. In terms of changing the profession, I, I think the Institute has historically had uh, a big role to play in that. The profession has developed a lot. America is the center of the culinary universe. Uh, we have the, uh, the largest industry, the most innovative industry. We're the source of inspiration for the world. And so in these past 30 years, uh, the spotlight really shifted from France. And uh, during this American cuisine revolution and in the subsequent years, the spotlight shifted uh, definitely to the U.S. and has never left us. <laughs>